for those of us uh, who can't sew and want to make a mask, uh, this is a way you can do it just using a stapler. Uh, given that it's really hard to find the materials these days, um, for example, using the elastic, um, we use shoestrings instead. And so what we did here is we created a template seven and a half inches across, eight inches long, and then cut out um, a vacuum cleaner bag. Um, if you use a HEPA bag, then the quality of the uh, filtration that you get will be very close to, if not better than a N95 mask, but a standard vacuum cleaner mask. Now, if you make your mask out of a standard vacuum cleaner mask, it's mask is almost as good as having one regular surgical mask. So what we've done is we've we've cut the um, piece of vacuum cleaner bag and we've uh, drawn lines every inch uh, and it's important to label them. I had a heck of a time doing this if I didn't label each line. Uh, and then once you have that uh, done we want to create a nose piece so that it'll conform to your nose and you can use um, either a folded pipe cleaner, uh, some 16 or 18 gauge um, solid copper wire, uh, something in something that would be bend would bend uh, to conform to your nose and so we have turned the vacuum cleaner bag inside out and we're going to fold this the top piece down um, and then staple the vacuum cleaner in place. Um, and then for comfort, we'll put a piece of tape over that. Uh, so now we've, we've created our nose piece. Again, this is the inside of the vacuum cleaner bag. Uh, so then we'll turn the vacuum cleaner bag uh, to the other side and we'll start creating the folds. And this is much more difficult than I ever expected, but anyway, um, what you want to do is you want to fold A to B and then C goes to D and then E goes to F. So you're going to create the fold right in here. Uh, once you get your first fold created, you simply take a stapler uh, and staple the fold that you've created uh, in place. And then you go on to do the next one. And so here you see we've We've uh, stapled, we folded A to B and stapled it. We folded C to D and stapled it uh, on both sides. Next, we'll we'll, we'll do uh, E uh, to F. And then once you get all the folds in place, uh, you take a shoestring uh, and put a knot in it, uh, and then you're going to put your staple uh, right here so that the um, so that the shoestring will stay in place. You do the same thing on each corner. And uh, I put an extra piece of tape here to make the nose section uh, more comfortable. So with this process, we've created this final mask. Uh, it's simply using staples uh, and shoestrings. And once again, depending on the material you to use, you'll have uh, more or less protection for yourself. Um, but remember that the most important thing is, is that if you happen to be asymptomatic uh, carrier or if, you're, if you've got the disease and will develop it, you're often asymptomatic for several days. And simply breathing, not, not, you don't have to cough or sneeze, but simply breathing will spread the virus onto other surfaces. Uh, as well as potentially infect another person. Uh, so it, to, to stop the epidemic, it's absolutely essential for everyone to wear a mask um, when they're out because you don't know whether you're symptomatic or about to become symptomatic or an asymptomatic carrier. And I just wanted to make this, and shortly of course we'll have masks available by the millions, but for those of us uh, who want a mask now and need something to make one very simply uh, and can't sew, like me, um, then this is a way to do it. I hope you find this helpful.